Hi, this is Larissa Ko, and I am going to show you how to set up an MLA works cited page. My sources are from Purdue OWL Online Writing Lab, so if you ever have questions about MLA format, you can come here. Uh, the website is owl.purdue.edu. So first I need to pull up an essay. So once you're logged into your Gmail account, you can click on these nine boxes here and then go into Google Docs. From here you could use a blank document but it's much easier to use the template that's already set up in MLA format. So you're going to click on template gallery and then uh, go to the education section right here and click report MLA. That will generate an essay for you that's in the right format. It has the one inch margins, it has the header up here, it has your page number. All you need to do is add your last name. And it shows you where to put everything. And at the very end is your works cited page. It needs to be on a completely separate page. You see that the formatting is the same on here. The title doesn't look special at all. It's Times New Roman size 12. No, works cited will always be your title. These are going to go in alphabetical order. So I have two sources to show you two different ways to create citations. My first source comes from EBSCOhost and they make it very, very easy for you. Um, if I decide I want to use this source, then what I would do is come over here and click on this little piece of paper that says cite. It has a list of different types of formats but of course we want to go to MLA so then I would just copy this and paste to my document. So my next source does not come from EBSCOhost, it's a, a newspaper article from Atlanta News. What I'm going to do with that is copy the URL in the very top and then go to citationmachine.net uh, so this is going to put it together for you. I'll click I only want to make citations, MLA format. Uh, so I'm just going to paste that in there. Uh, it's my URL from the website that I'm finding a citation for and then you click search websites. So it pulled up my website. I'm going to click select. It shows what they did find and what they could not find. So you click final step and then I'm just going to check over this. A lot of times it's a little bit off. Um, so Christian Boone is the author so I'm going to make sure that's in there. So it looks like it has the last name but it did not put his first name in. So I will add that. The website title says AJC, that is accurate except it's capitalized. It looks like it was actually published on the 5th, not the 6th. So I'll click create citation here and you see this is my citation. Uh, you can do copy right here or just right click and copy and then I will paste it right here. So now that I have all of my citations, including these nonsense ones, I'm going to put them in order alphabetically. So Boone goes first, and then my D's, and then E. And now to get rid of the highlighting, click highlight color, change it to none, click this, make it size 12, Times New Roman. Uh, make sure that the color is all black. And that is a works cited page.